I could ask everyone to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Madam Clerk, could you please call the roll? Mr. Blasbach? Here. Mr. Jones? Present. Um, Ms. Hoskins? Here. Mrs. McGovern? Here. Mrs. Ms. Stevens? Here. Mr. Shaw? And student representatives? Here. Thank you. And if you could call the calendar. On Tuesday, February 20th, there will be a school committee budget meeting. Madam Clerk? Thank you. And uh, for presentations and recognitions, Dr. Shea? Sure. We have a congratulations to Ryan Maloney, who was named as the Rhode Island Interscholastic League January Mayo Student Athlete of the Month. And also we have a science fair back at the high school, and we had top winners um, who, were, who were announced last week, and they will participate in the state fair on March 17th. Also, congratulations to Joe Gilmartin, and Joe is the coach of our boys basketball, boys football team. He was named the Words Unlimited 2017 School Boy Coach of the Year. So, next item on our agenda is citizens' comments. I have one name here. Um, if you could please, uh, when I call your name, come to the microphone, state your name and address, and we ask that you please limit your comments to three minutes. I have Kate Scott. Hi, I'm Kate Scott, 10 Jasmine Circle. And I want to say thank you. I looked through the budget. I cannot imagine what this went through and how many numbers and all of that. And I know that you're working within the constraints that the town council has given you. And my questions are strictly for trying to understand the numbers. When I was looking through it, the headcount for Fishing Cove is listed at 342, but the school capacity is at 335. And I don't know is that I, we're not in that school. My children go to Hamilton, and I just don't know if that's... Well, one thing I want to make, we, we can't really answer questions right. specifically. I, I know. Yeah, so right. I don't want you to answer like you have a back. I got you. Right. Okay. Right. right. When we get to the budget, we get to the budget we'll try to... Absolutely. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll right. give you that, that answer. Yeah, right. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt. That's quite all right. Um, on page 10, it's noted across every elementary school. I just happened, or it's almost across every school. I just noticed it on the first school. There's a significant increase for professional days um, budgeted for 2017 to 2018, and there was almost none last year, so I don't know if it's on in every other year rotation. But again, just trying to get some understanding of it. The contracted nursing services is currently $1,000 for Hamilton, but next year it's budgeted for $145,000. Um, Quidnesset cesspool is $10,000 and I didn't know if that was the same as item 9 from the 2016 capital improvement which I know it mentions one of the four I think it's Forest Park and North Kingstown High School has zero dollars allocated for textbooks is that because everything is online that's how I picture it happening there was asbestos abatement or asbestos mentioned in number 16 of the 2016 Capital Improvement, or CIP. Um, I'm just wondering if it's encapsulated, if there's long-term exposure things that we need to be concerned about because my children are in that school. And I see within the, the last few pages, it's slated to be fixed in the 2019 to 2020. That's where the money is noted. Um, as well as the fresh air system noted for Wickford Middle. Um, again, I'm sorry, it doesn't have a page number. But if it's a health concern, is it being put off till 2020 and the IT stuff comes first? So just trying to understand that. Uh, my last two questions are, is there a rainy day fund for capital improvement? I know it's a town-wide issue of forecasting and thinking into the future. It's certainly not a school issue. I get that. I live in this town. Um, and is there any talk on the state level of redistricting the state and not having 39 independent school systems? Thank you. And I do apologize. There's a lot of reasons we can't do back and forth. Things that are on our agenda we can't discuss. I and, uh, I didn't but it. And, uh, that's okay. And, but I do encourage you. You know, particularly when you ask very, very specific questions like that, reach out to any of us. We'll, we'll okay. try to mm. do it a little easier than we can do sure. at the meeting. Um, anyone else who wanted to speak who might not have signed up? Okay. 
Um, next, um, we have our consent agenda. Any members have any exemptions from the consent agenda? Hearing none, I'd ask for a motion to approve the consent agenda. So moved. Uh, I think second. it's a tie between Ms. Hope. So if you said second, we can give it to Ms. McGovern with a second, Ms. Hoskins. Um, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Um, we have a memorandum of agreement in your packets uh, for approval today. I'd ask for a motion to approve item D. So second. Uh, motion, Ms. Hoskins. Second, Mr. Jones. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Passes unanimously. And so next we have 2017-2018 uh, school budget. Anything to report there, Mrs. King? No. Uh, so 2018-2019 budget. Um, so first of all, um, just a reminder that uh, we have another meeting a week from Tuesday. I know some of you are unable to attend. Um, due to for various reasons. Um, we do need to approve the budget, if not this evening, um, tomorrow, uh, sorry, uh, uh, next Tuesday. Um, that would be, again, our budget that we submit to the town council. Um, from there, the town council um, you know, will look at it as part of the larger town-wide budget and then ultimately um, approve the town budget, which will provide us with our final number. Uh, if it's anything less than what we propose, um, we will then need to revisit the budget to bring it into balance with the actual amount of funding we receive, just a reminder for the members and also people in the community. Um, so any, want have anything you want to bring up or questions for the administration regarding the 2018-2019 school budget? And uh, Dr. Did you, you want to touch on a couple topics there while we have it on the agenda? Oh, sure. Um, I can uh, stop pointing to a few of the um, particulars that were brought up. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to all of them. I, I was writing frantically, I hope I am. Um, I, there was no increase in professional days. I, I'm not sure what that is all about and what you read, but if you want to show that to me, maybe I could, I could figure that out with you after the meeting or something. Um, the you know, one second. In case you didn't notice, budget's a little thick in detail, yeah, so yeah. It, it gets really tricky, and sometimes right. what looks like a big change is sometimes a recharacterization or something moving from yeah. one line to another, So, um, it, and sometimes we need to sort of dig into those. So. Yeah. Sorry, but the, the calendar was just approved in the same number of professional days next year as there is well, this year. Well, I think, sure. Bill, Mary, that, I think that's where you have to break out the salaries different. Yes. That's, I think, explains it's an account. It's basically an accounting point where the salaries of everyone, even though it's part of their salary, because it's a professional day, it gets broken out as a professional day. So if salaries are going up, it will look like professional days going up, even if the number stays the same, because it's just the way. Yeah, that's rise just makes the rise. And could it be at a school with more top step teachers? It looks like right. they're paying more for it there than in another school, but they're all getting the same. Professional <clears throat> So could I make a suggestion? I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. I have it here. Yes. I will be happy to talk to you about all this. I mean, I'm certainly not trying to hide anything from anybody, but that way your questions, I do have a lot of answers for you on the CIP and things like that. And then that way maybe it might even bring up some more questions. So either we can talk on the phone or you can come in or whatever might work for you. Um, I'm just not sure we're going to be able to capture everything here for you today. One quick one that I can give you a very quick answer, the Fishing Cove number. Fishing Cove has preschool and preschool is half day. So half of those kids are in the building at one time. So, the mm -hmm. so at no time is the school above capacity because only half of the preschool kids are there. That's why. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. Other questions regarding the 2000 or uh, comments for the 2018-19 budget. With the reminder that we, we must approve it at our next meeting if we don't approve it tonight. Um, and uh, the other thing that I, I say this every year, um, sometimes it happens anyway, but we ask that you know any detailed questions, very similar, basically the same thing we just mentioned to you. Uh, when you have detailed questions about particular line items, if you could please um, try to contact Dr. Jay or Mrs. King in advance so that she can have the answers because while Mrs. King can pull amazing numbers out of that computer on very short notice, it's a lot easier for her if she has more than you know, five minutes to do that. So um, 
uh, any items that you might be looking at, uh, reductions, adds, changes to, um, if you can give her a heads up, she can you know, give her two cents um, on what those numbers do to the budget so that we don't have uh, you know, the frantic adding, subtracting. At because the you minute. very specifically have to vote a on a dollar number, number, an exact number that's going to the town council for the bottom line. So anything that you have estimates on or something that you want to vote on to eliminate or add, I need to throw an estimate out there for you because you, you have to, you can't just say, oh, you know, figure out another X amount of dollars. You have to vote on a number. So you're voting on the grants, grant number that we have projected. You're voting on the enterprise uh, number that you, we have projected. And then you're voting on the, the general fund number. So three numbers, and it's an actual number. And I do want to ask, I mean, do people have more questions? I mean, we do happen to have everyone here this evening. If, if we have more questions and, and items for the administration, then we can certainly wait until our next meeting. Um, I don't think that anyone has anything that is uh, that would be proposing in our next meeting that is particularly controversial that, you know, I, I would never want to see something happen that's reduced at our next meeting that is a, a major item when we don't have everyone there. I mean, though it would be legal to do, like, you know, that's just not how I operate. So um, I don't want anyone to feel that they, uh, we vote on the budget without everyone there. But at the same time, um, if we're not ready to vote on it tonight, then you know, we won't vote on it tonight. But I don't know how people feel about that. We do happen to have everyone here. People have more questions or not? <laughs> okay, and I, I'm comfortable at this point as well. And Mr. Jones, do, do you have more that you think you might want to? Um, yeah, well, I think there's a couple of some data we still need to get back. Okay, so you do have some things you still Yeah, but it's nothing major. So um, I don't, and nothing that I don't think would be a, a surprise. So. Okay. Okay, and I guess we'll do the final numbers next week. Um, you could vote on some of it tonight. No, I was going to say, do you want to do the, the enterprise funds? And well, uh, it, not necessarily that, but I think one thing that might be helpful, and you, you might not have an answer to this, but it might be helpful on whether or not you are accepting Dr. Ajay's recommended cuts, because I can at least get that going, and then if you had other right. changes okay. or whatever. No, anything that you had questions on uh, affect that? Because don't forget, the budget was submitted to you, and it's over budget. Right, right. We have to Dr. O'Shea's cuts right. are the $948,000, and if you're accepting those or a subset of those, or it would be helpful to me if you wanted to budget, if you wanted to vote on those tonight, and then you can vote on the rest of the final budget okay. next week if you have Are more you changes. With that, Mr. Jones? Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Then, then for discussion purposes on that, I'll make a motion to accept the superintendent's proposed budget cuts. Um, second. We have a second. Um, so discussion on that. Does anyone have anything that they would like to uh, add? Do you have to go right ahead? Sure. I'm just wondering, um, so a $30,000 decrease in textbooks, how does that work? That seems like a pretty significant cut, especially when textbooks are really um, a pretty major part of, especially of the higher level uh, high school classes. Um, basically, the textbook line is associated with the curriculum cycle. And so we have a seven-year cycle. And it just so happens that next year we have the three subjects that are on the docket are um, art, music, and math. And so the I think the math might take um, might uh, occupy some of the textbook money, but the um, I don't anticipate that art and music right. is going to need textbooks, you know, because they um, they use various materials and not usually textbooks. So that's what I'm anticipating. So if it's one year where we can do less um, with the textbook, it would probably be next year. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So to be clear, you're voting on the proposed budget cuts as presented by Dr. Roger on January 23rd, um, total of $947,833 to bring the preliminary budget into uh, a 4% increase to town property taxes over last year. So we're not voting on that number, but you're voting on the 947, 833 Correct. right now. So if this motion passes, you would adjust your budget by the 947,000 with the lines that were given to us Correct. on January 23rd, 2018. 
and uh, that would give you some time to crunch those numbers, and then next week we would vote on a bottom line that includes <coughs> those cuts and anything else that we can look at. Four percent increase in town allocation to the school department. Correct. Which doesn't necessarily mean a four percent increase in the property taxes. Also that is correct. correct. It just means it to are the the line item that, that we the have town. called property right. tax revenue right. from the right. town. Correct. Right. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah. So I just want to point out because I'm okay with the superintendent's recommendations, although there might be some areas where we could swap mm -hmm. superintendents for another. You know, for example, again, we're down in the weeds, but um, you know, we have almost a hundred percent increase in the textbooks, um, and this for the general community's awareness, we have to provide textbooks to private schools. For our students that attend private schools, and that's a 133% increase this year. So you're talking eight or nine grand. Um, so not for tonight, but maybe we could look at what's driving that. And I would much rather see if there's a little savings there. And, and again, it's not a huge savings, but maybe save something we cut in the district. Um, unless there's a you know reason why, but again, just make a small point that that's something that goes to pay for private schools, um, but it comes out of our district budget. I will definitely look at that. Um, the thing that I think you need to keep in mind also with the um, what's it called the um, ACM oh, advanced course ACN advanced course network um, that also comes out of that. That's line. in that line too. Yeah. So well, at least that's, I, our, that's at least yeah. I'll take North NKSD students right. getting right. textbooks. So I will take right. a look I at that, that compared to, there, okay. yeah. and I'll that, look at that compared right. to an actual for that, that could this explain year. Some of that. Yeah. Other questions or uh, comments on the superintendent's uh, post cuts to bring the budget in line? And I do think, uh, Michelle, your explanation on the textbooks may answer your question about why the high school line decreased. If there's no further discussion, there's a motion and a second on the table. Uh, we can take a vote on that. So all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? That passes unanimously. So Mrs. King, you can incorporate that into your numbers for next week. Yep. <laughs> um, any other discussion on the 2018-19 budget? Okay. And if not, uh, again, please submit uh, you know, any correspondence you have with the superintendent, Mrs. King, um, going forward for next week. Um, and, uh, you know, though you might not be there, uh, you know, don't feel left out of the discussion, you know, please uh, chime in as well. Um, so next on our agenda is CIP existing bond and future bond. I do not have anything. Okay. Do we know? <coughs> yes. The, the, and maybe it's not the town council that needed it. So is that on the next? Because it didn't get actually addressed, right? Um, I, I, yeah, I'm actually not sure about that um, because I understand that the asset management committee, for some reason, they need to have another meeting, um, and I don't, I don't know okay, how they're so. going to address it. So um, I think they wanted to by the March meeting. They wanted to get them back on the agenda to at least receive and file. I don't know how much they discussed the actual CIP at that meeting, um, but last year, if you recall, we actually had a formal meeting in which that was addressed, right, yeah. and we were all there. Um, so I don't know if they are going to do something like that again in the future or not. I'm not sure, but we can reach out to the town manager. Uh, next we have uh, policy. This is the second reading, um, with just a very minor uh, correction that we made last time. Um, so if I could get a motion to approve item 4D. So moved. Motion Mr. Jones. Second. Second Ms. McGovern. Um, any discussion? So all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Oh, sorry, was that a yes, no? Maybe that's opposed. Not opposed. Okay, so that's going to be four yeses, one no from Mrs. Stevens. Uh, passes four to one. Next we have um, new business. We don't have anything there. Some financial reports that are in our packet. Any questions on those? If not, we've reached the end of our agenda. Ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yep.